Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Friday at about meh, five past three, and I decided to quickly make a video to show you how you can get a Yugo site deployed very quickly with AWS Amplify. The reason is that I saw a question in a local Slack group this morning about someone saying they want to do this quickly and easily uh, with a repository hosted on GitHub, um, and they started looking at setting up GitHub Actions and how to share credentials with the VBS provider, how to kick it off, how to set up webhooks, etc. And I decided, well, let me show with Amplify how you can do it with literally a couple of clicks. It'll probably take me under 10 minutes to complete this, including editing and pushing out the video. So let's see how quickly I can get this out to you. Okay, so here we are inside the AWS console and I am inside the Amplify section of the console. So you can just search for uh, Amplify under services and open up this section. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the app by clicking the connect button. We're gonna select GitHub over here and this will take you through an OAuth flow where you'll log into GitHub to authorize your account. Now, in my case, I've pre-authorized just to make this a little bit easier, but as if you're already logged in, it'll literally be a case of clicking the authorize button. Now what we can do is we can um, search for repositories and I've got one here uh, called AWS Startup Garage um, Demo that I've been using. Uh, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Here we go. Um, and we're going to select the branch that we want to deploy. And in this case, we're going to look at the master branch. So let's go ahead and click the next button. And over here, you'll see a build config that it picked up um, based on what it sees inside the repo. Now I can figure out that it's a Hugo repo or project that we're dealing with. So therefore it actually built those in already and selected the appropriate uh, build container for us. I'm not gonna edit this. So let's go ahead and hit the next button. Now we can just review all the details and now we can hit the save button and deploy. And it'll go ahead and kick off or we'll set up the build job, set up the webhook from uh, GitHub side, and then also actually go and deploy the first version of what it sees in the repository at the moment. So I'm quickly going to pause here for a few seconds just to let the build kick off. And then I will tell you what the timestamp is. It is now 20 seconds, um, seven minutes past three in the afternoon. And I'm actually going to head straight to the build section so we can keep an eye on the timestamps over here because that'll make my life easier. You can see it's now, this started at six seconds past um, seven minutes past three o'clock in the afternoon. Cool, and here we are at 37 seconds past. So it's been 30 seconds since uh, I initially kicked off this build. And let us wait for it to finish quickly. Cool, and our build is completed successfully. Uh, it is now 25 seconds, eight minutes, 25 seconds. So about a minute later. Uh, so let's go quickly see what the website looks like. And over here you can see the website is up and running. So this is really looking very good. Now the next step normally is to add some kind of custom domain. So in my case, I have got some domains configured here on the account, but we can quickly jump to root 53 to see what you will need to do. Let's just go to root 53 and open up the console over here. It's just loading. And if I look at the hosted zones, we can see that I've got a couple here. Uh, some are proper ones that you can access like buttonmonkey.co.za and tinkletones. Another one is just an example, which is the startupgarage.com. So let's go ahead and use Tinkle Turns. So one thing you'll notice over here is that it has been set up with these weird CNAME um, records over here. And this is what Amazon Certificate Manager uses, which is a service that we have that you can use to issue free SSL certificates to use with AWS services inside your account. We're gonna make use of that. So if you haven't set up a Route 53 um, zone yet, you have to do that. Um, it will cost you a full 50 US cents per month per zone that you use um, along with some um, DNS requests if you go fairly high. I think the first few million requests are free, but just have a look at the pricing there. So this does cost 50 cents a month. So going back to the Amplify console over here, uh, what we can do is we can say add domain over here, and then we pick one. So I'm gonna grab the Tingle Tones one over here. Okay, so over here you can see we have to configure the subdomain. So by default, it'll have a record for the Apex domain. So that's your domain without any kind of prefix to it. And then we're also going to be redirecting the www.tinkleterms.com to it. And you can see there's a mechanism here to just tick this box and set up a redirect. You can also add different subdomains with different branches should you want to enable preview on it. Um, so let's go ahead and save this quickly. Okay, now what you'll see over here is that it's going to uh, do the SSL creation and it'll also actually create those CNAME records for you in Route 53 to allow the DNS validation uh, of that domain for you. So I'm just quickly going to pause and refresh this to see what's going on. So now it is uh, 
12 minutes past three at the moment. Uh, we have created the SSL, we've configured it. We're currently waiting for the verification to kick in and that'll uh, take a, a minute or two depending on um, when the check in the background happens. So while that's happening, just quickly how the ACM or Amazon Certificate Manager works is it does that lookup to see if you can add a record to DNS to verify that you own the domain because if you can manipulate the DNS records, you are in charge of the domain and that's how we validate it. Um, so once we've validated that that CNAME record is um, there and the correct value, then we'll issue that SSL certificate inside your account and then you can attach it to the different services. And Amplify here will take care of all of that for you um, and just attach it to your website and add the relevant DNS record to actually then point to your website as well. Okay, so while waiting, it is now 21 past and 50 seconds. I quickly went outside to play with the dogs while I was waiting for the domain to validate. Uh, we can see that the SL uh, validation is now completed and it's now at the point of uh, domain activation. Okay, so it's still on the domain activation. I'm quickly going to refresh that. And uh, while that is going, let's just quickly see if we can, um, if it is active already, because sometimes it happens before we are completed. Uh, Tinkle tones, there we go. And the site is up and running. It is now 22 and a half minutes past three. So that is literally how quickly you can get uh, a Hugo site up and running with AWS Amplify.